I'm Trace Clark, also known as Craft Doll, aka Detroit's Handy Woman, and today I'm going to show you how to make a personalized charcuterie board. So for today's craft, we're going to be making a personalized charcuterie board or grazing tray, whatever you want to call it. This is the perfect craft for Valentine's Day, which is coming up, because what's better than a personalized gift for you and your lover? So what you need is an unfinished wood board, a paintbrush, some wood stain, a pencil, a stencil, and a wood burning tool. Okay. So I'm going to start by drawing a little heart with this cookie cutter on my board. And then I'm going to, on the inside of the heart, add my initials. And you can do more than just initials. You can do full names, you can do different shapes. Uh, the wood burner comes with a bunch of different attachments. Some have letters, some have little uh, lines for, for finer things. I'm going to start this one with the heart that I just drew. Inside, I'm going to put my initials TC for Trees Clark. So before you go in with the wood burning with the stamp, you always want to test it on another piece of wood first, just in case, just to see how hot it is and just to kind of see how much pressure you need to apply. So that tea came out pretty good. Now I'm going to do it on the center of the heart as well. So there's the T. I'm going to do the C next. And you can turn this off and let it cool in between changing it. I just always like to have a pair of pliers handy just to kind of swap things out to keep things flowing in between. So I'm just going to take the T off. Put on the C. And then give this a few seconds to heat up since we're just putting on that attachment. I'm going to just put it on a little stand over here so it's just out of my reach so I make sure I don't touch that. And while we're waiting on that to heat up, on the unfinished wood pieces, sometimes there are little splintery parts. So you do want to have a piece of sandpaper handy or a nail file, emery board, anything that you may have. And just kind of clean up any little pieces that you may see. Because you don't want to spend your evening pulling splinters out of your lover's hands. Because we want soft hands for the night. Okay, so that should be done heating up. Again, I'm going to test it first just to see. to see so I'm going to do that to the center of the heart okay. so now I have my initials on the inside TC and then I'm going to switch the head again to a fine point so that I can trace that heart so unscrewing the C Putting it off to the side to cool, taking my very fine tip, using the pliers again so that I'm not touching the wood burning tool, and just screwing that inside. And then we're going to let that heat up for a few minutes. So while that's heating up, I'm going to just lift this board and put it on something so that the wood stain doesn't make this stick to the table. So when you're painting or staining something, you don't want to just have it flat on the surface. You want to have it raised so drips can run off and so that it's not acting as an adhesive to whatever your surface is on. I'm just going to use these paint cans. Okay. 
test and see if this is ready. And it's smoking, so it looks like we're ready. And I'm just going to trace the heart. So depending on how deep you want things, you can add a little bit more pressure when you're tracing. Just take your time because with the wood burner, it's not going to be the most perfect thing, but it is going to look like a handmade, kind of rustic gif. So it's really hard to get perfectly straight lines using this. So I'm just dragging it along. And don't worry about the smoke. You definitely want to do the burning part before you do the wood stain. So you're not releasing any chemicals into the air. Uh, this calls for kind of a sturdy hand. Just kind of readjust it to work works best for you and just drag it along their lines. And I've seen people do some really cool things with wood burning. I've seen entire portraits. Like they've traced an image in pencil and then gone in with different tips and used different, you know, pressure points to create entire images. So since we're done with that, I'm gonna Turn it off, set it to the side, and there's the personalized TC on our charcuterie board. Now for the wood stain, just want to make sure you shake that up. I'm using a colonial maple, so it's not going to look like a drastic change. It's more of a natural color, and you do want to make sure you use a wood stain that is food safe or you can use an oil as well. Like you can use a vegetable oil to bring out the natural highlights in the wood or any other oils like olive oil, things of that nature. On the can, it does say to use a rag to kind of do this. I like to use a paintbrush because I don't want it to go on too heavy and it's just a more controlled look. And you can see that color change instantly. It's not the best smelling stuff, so you want to make sure that you give this about 24 to 48 hours to cure after you're painting it on. and then wash it also with just some cool water and mild detergent before placing any food on it. If you want this to last a long time and don't want it to get an aged look after a while, you can also use like a clear coat or a sealer to lock in and keep this color. I think we're all set on this. I bought any access. It can get a little smelly, so if you want to open up a window and leave this near that, that would be a good idea too. And then here is our finished board. So it's been 48 hours, we let our board dry, and here is our final result.
our snacks for grazing and we're ready for an intimate Valentine's Day.